That's it. And then you can let go. Nice. Oh, yeah. Can I give a little oh, high yeah. five? Yeah. Give that awesome high. job. You can hold yeah. on to that rope a little bit. Right. Lean your shoulders back a little bit, Ernesto. Keep those legs straight. Lean your shoulders back. Take a look up to Sky Pod. I don't know if there's anyone up there right now. You can take a look down as well if you'd like. Oh, you I could let go, let go. Yeah, you can let go, yeah. Okay. Alright. Hey, hey, hey! Thank you for visiting my YouTube channel. You got it, Ernesto Explores. On November 12, 2017, Sunday, I booked my reservation at edgewalkcntower.ca to visit La Tour CN Tower, specifically the Edgewalk. It cost me around 254 Canadian dollars or 200 US dollars. One US dollar is equivalent to 1.33 Canadian dollars. However, I also had to pay $25 of all-day parking somewhere maybe around 10 minutes away. So I had to walk from there to the site. So just make sure that to allocate some time for that. I chose 2 p.m. slot because that was the time that I had a very good chance to experience this alone. To my surprise, when I got there, nobody else booked it for 2 p.m. So I was the only one with Min, who happens to be my edge walk guide. She's also the one who took pictures and videos while we were up there at CN Tower Edge Walk, 356 meters or 1,168 feet above the ground. Also. Edge Walk is the world's highest external walk on a building, Guinness World Record, a full circle hands-free walk on a 5 feet 1.5 meters wide ledge encircling the top of the tower's main pod. Visitors walk in groups of six while attached to an overhead safety rail via trolley and harness system. Trained Edge Walk guides encourage participants to push their personal limits allowing them to lean back over Toronto with nothing but air and breathtaking views of Lake Ontario beneath them. Designed with the highest international safety and security standards in mind, Edge Walk runs 1.5 hours with the outdoor walk lasting approximately 30 minutes. Tickets include a keepsake video, photos, and certificate of achievement. Participants also receive a CN Tower readmission general admission ticket plus sky pod including the access to lookout glass floor outdoor sky terrace sky pod levels edge walk operates seasonally from spring to late fall seven days a week and hours of operation fluctuate depending on daylight so if you have any questions just comment down below and i'll answer your questions and i really appreciate it Gorgeous, gorgeous day here at the edge walk. Oh, yep, that ground is still really far away. Come check it out, Ernesto. Hey, 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 all right, all right. Just pull the trolley all the way up, all the way up the hill there. See okay. you later, Harrison. Okay. All right, just come all the way around the corner here. 
All right, Ernesto, so you made it out the yeah, door, man. so welcome yes. to the yeah. edge walk. <laughs> so just take a couple steps forward so that you're staying on the platform here. Okay. All right, so the platform we are standing on right now is one and a half meters wide or five feet wide. It's the same width as the average city sidewalk down below. Right. So if you can walk down there, you can definitely walk up here. It's a little bit higher, right? So we are currently 356 meters high. That's 1,168 feet or about 116 building stories high or just really, really high up. If you start to smell anything yummy or delicious while we're up here, it's not your imagination. The 360 revolving restaurant is directly below us. Oh, wow, wow. And then the 31 stories high, if you want to take a look up, is a sky pod. Is anyone up there right now? Give them a wave and maybe they'll wave back. Yeah, there's a sky pod right there. Yeah, the sky pod up there, yeah. So if you want to come a little bit closer to the edge, but not too close, you can take a look down. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I see the Canada, Canada flag. Yeah. So I know we've only been outside for a few minutes. We're gonna get right into our first activity. So if you want to just take a little step back, I'm gonna show you how to do it first, and then you can get uh, have an opportunity to try it for yourself. So our first activity is called Toes Over Toronto, and it's as easy as it sounds. So when it's your turn, you're gonna take some confident steps towards the edge, get your toes over the edge like this. You can look out to the horizon, take a look down, and if you're feeling really good, you can let go of that rope. Just don't lean forward for this one, because that's crazy. We're gonna do that on the other side. All right, so Ernesto, let's see your toes over Toronto. Toes over Toronto. Yeah. Go Philippines. Go Mississippi. You got it. Here That's go. one. Toes over Toronto. And the other. That's it. Can we let go of that rope? Nicely done, Ernesto. Awesome. All right. So I'm glad you were able to do that one because that was the warm-up activity warm up. for oh, something man. that looks like this. Ooh. Okay, so we're going to do the lean back now. Again, I will show you how to do it first and then I'll help you do it afterwards, okay? okay. So if you want to just turn and face the tower this way, I'm going to come down on the other side of you just to demonstrate this time. So just watch me first and then I'll help you with it afterwards, okay? okay. So for the lean back, the first thing you're going to do when it's your turn is stand underneath the rail holding onto your rope and then you're going to sit right down into your harness like you're sitting into a chair. So you want the harness and the rope to do all the work. You want it to hold all of your weight so you don't need to hold yourself up. You want to make sure your feet are flat out in front of you. They end up underneath your bottom. It's not going to work very well. So just bring them forward like this. Once you're in this position, you're going to hold on to your rope. You're going to slowly walk back until your heels are over the edge. You want a nice wide stance at least shoulder width apart. Then you're going to dig your heels down, straightening up your legs and locking those knees. Make sure your legs are nice and straight. This is the strongest and safest position. And then once you're feeling good, you can lean your shoulders back and let go of that rope. All right, are you ready to give it a try? All right. This was so, the fun one. The you lean back. Lean back. Yeah. Okay. Right. So you're going to take a seat. So sit all the way down. And then bring your feet forward like you're sitting into a chair. So you just, just let it go. Just yeah, let it. Yeah, exactly. You want the rope to hold you. So you can hold the rope if you want. And then slowly walk back. And then I'll let you know when you get to the edge. Keep going. You got it. Take your time. That's it. Your heels are at the edge. Get them over a little bit. Good. This foot a little bit more. Over. Okay. Your left foot. Yeah. And then you're going to push yourself away from the tower and straighten up your legs and lock those knees. So push yourself away from the tower and strain up your legs. Straight, straight, straight. Okay yeah, keep, yeah. yeah, keep going. Keep going. Straight, straight, straight. All the way. Lock your knees. That's it. And then you can let go. Nicely oh, done, yeah. Ernesto. Can oh, I get a little high yeah. five? Yeah, on, awesome man. job. You can hold on to that rope a little bit. Among the three activities, this lean back was the scariest thing I've ever done. It's really nerve-wracking. I was not seeing what's going on behind me, so it's really tough. I dare you to try it. All right. Lean your shoulders back a little bit, Ernesto. Keep those legs straight. Lean your shoulders back. Take a look up to Sky Pod. I don't know if there's anyone up there right now. You can take a look down as well if you'd like. You mean I could let go? Let go. Yeah, you can let go. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I want you to remember this one, Ernesto, because yes. we're going to do it a few more times before we head back inside. Sure. All right, so for now, grab hold of your rope, give it a tug, walk yourself back into the middle of the platform there. Give yourself a round of applause. Yes. Nice time. All right, so Ernesto, another side of the tower means another activity. Okay, so you want to take a little step back into the platform. Again, watch me first, and then you'll have an opportunity to give it a try. Okay. So we've done toes over. We've leaned back. What do you think is coming up next? Maybe the... Airborne? We're going to lean forward Airborne. off this. Yeah. 
So for the lean forward, I don't want to see your toes over Toronto. I want both feet still on the platform. Okay. So you're going to walk up to the second line at the grating. So this is the edge, this is the first line, and then this is the second line. Okay. So when it's your turn, you're going to walk up to the second line. Make sure, again, you have a nice wide stance. Okay. You're going to push your rope all the way out in front of you so that all the metal bits have lined up and there's no more slack in your rope. Once you have this, keep your body nice and straight, then drive your tire body weight forward into the rope and rest the rope on one of your shoulders. Once it's on a shoulder and you're feeling good, you can let go. And if you're feeling really good, check out my toes. Get that okay. little bit extra. All right, Ernest, are you ready to get... Yeah, you can come on your tiptoes, yeah. So come up to that second line. That's it. Push your... No, the second line. This one. Yeah, push your rope all the way up. Pardon? Is the second line. Yeah, that is the second line. Yeah, right there. That's good. Push your rope all... So, no. Stay at the second line. That's it. Push your rope all the way out. Yeah. Push your rope all the way out and then lean into your rope. So keep going until it's on your shoulder. That's it. Keep going. And then you can let go. Nicely done. And then you can go up on your tiptoes as well if you want. Nice. Everybody in the world. Yeah. You can go up on your toes as well if you'd like. Yeah, nice! Nicely done! Awesome job! Give yourself a round of applause! Alright, Ernesto, so you did it! You did toes over Toronto, you lean back, you lean forward, you're an official edge walker. Give yourself a hand! Nicely done! You also completed the Guinness World Record today, like you mentioned earlier, by walking 150 meters all the way around. We hold the world record for the highest external hands-free walk around a building. So give yourself a round of applause for that all. All right, so unfortunately, you got to head back inside. So if you want to just follow me this way, just hold on to your rope as we head back inside down the little hill, and a high five will get you back into the tower. All right, awesome job. All right, head on inside. I'll see you in just a moment. All right, so thanks for joining us here at the Edge Rock. It's been your guide, Romina, A.K. Lilbert. See you later.
<laughs> All right, so your photo package is ready. Okay. Uh, we can take the key from you. Okay. That, yeah, this is what you gotta take back. Yeah, and then, nice. yeah, so your two photos oh, yeah. video. Okay. You want the USB, you can purchase it with those ladies over here. And okay. Ready for you. Okay, thank you, Min. Thank you. It's there. They have me there on this TV screens.